It's never okay to touch a friend's penis. No. Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 158. Where we watch them, so you don't have to. But this week, we recommend that you probably do. Yeah, maybe. Hey. We just kind of spoiled the whole review. Don't watch any of the rest of it. You already know what we think. Cut. Like it. just, <laughs> it's over. This week, we watched Don't Go to the Reunion. Oh. Brought to us by Slasher Studios. Woot! Yeah. yeah. 2013. Uh-huh. Not rated. No. 75 minutes long. No. Short. This was an... It's an indie movie. Yeah! Uh, lower budget. Support yeah. indie. Support indie. We love that. You guys know that. We know that. We know that. And you yeah. So this movie was directed by Steve Goltz. Starring Stephanie Lee Rose. Mm-hmm. And Nick Summer. Ooh. Again, those are the only two that have pictures. <laughs> You know what? You want your name on our show? Get your picture on IMDb. Right? Um, <laughs> and it starred other people, too. Yeah. Um, None of them had pictures. Faceless, so faceless people. Fuck them. They don't count. <laughs> so what was, this, uh, what was this reunion about? All right. So um, back in 2004, a group of high school students played a prank on this like nerdy, horror nerdy us, basically. <laughs> played a prank on a guy who was like us. Yeah. And got him kicked out of school and expelled, and then he killed himself. Ten oh, years later. That's kind of a spoiler. Oh, yeah, yeah. And ten years later, the same group of friends get invited to a high school, ten-year high school reunion, yep. a private party uh, that they go to, and they start getting killed off one by one. So, what do we like? So, yeah, I like that. It's like an 80s kind of throwback nostalgia. Yes. Shout out. I mean, it's awesome. It doesn't look like an 80s movie, visually. Yep. But the atmosphere, the vibe, the music, the kills, the... A lot of the camera angles, even. Yeah. I would even say visually it looked like an 80s horror movie, but it wasn't like the grainy... No, no. Right. It looked like if you shot an 80s horror movie today, this is what it would look like. Exactly. Or in 2013. Right. Yeah. And they nailed it, man, with that. That was cool. Everything, and I think I mentioned halfway through, I was like, it feels like this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, about halfway through, you said, this feels like Friday the 13th Part 2. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and at the beginning, when when the title card comes on, I was yeah. like, Friday Part 3. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of that, the menu screen and the title card. Oh. The menu screen alone, we put it in before we even hit play. It's just a it's just a picture, you know, the, 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 the options. Yeah. But the music playing... It feels like you, it, it, it sets the mood well. Yeah, it's foreboding. It's creepy. It's tense. It's like, and you know, we don't talk about we don't talk about the DVDs. I, no, I put my arm around you. Um, we don't talk about the DVDs very often, but this is a good release. Blu-ray, Blu-ray whatever. Blu-ray. Blu-ray. It's the same thing. Uh, just different color. Uh, I'm saying, yeah. You know, look at this. It even has like an old school '80s like it has a horror sticker on it. Nice. Yeah, isn't that cool? I thought you put that on there. No, dude, that's, that's part of that's it. That's part of it, man. I love that. And it's got a ton of bonus features. Yeah. So I'll check that out. We that's, like boner features. That's what. <laughs> the the score through the oh. whole movie. The music was great, yeah. and it wasn't '80s music. But it felt like it could have been 80s yeah. music. And it had some good music. There's some kind of poppy punk stuff in there, which... <laughs> you know us. <laughs> yeah. The plot and the story. Oh, really well done. Yeah, it's very cliche, very standard. But it's on purpose. It's intentionally it's that intentional. way. And I love the simplicity of it. This was obviously made by horror fans for horror fans. Yep. And that's awesome. Yeah, you know, and we're horror fans. <laughs> just like they made it for us. We're so boring. We made it. We yeah. Did well, we make this no, movie? Maybe. Oh. Maybe vicariously oh. through them. The gore and the kills were pretty cool. Yeah. You know, there wasn't a ton of gore and there's one kill with a fire poker into the mouth, which was a reference to Happy Birthday to Me. That was a good And time. I, I yeah, and I mentioned on that, I was like, this feels like an eighties movie because yep. they're more quick shots, a little bit of gore. And just the way it was done. It felt like what the MPAA used to do to horror movies yeah. back in the 80s. To right. slasher flicks. Yep. How they were like, oh, you have to cut like everything or you're going to get a rated X. Yeah. It, it really, really felt like yeah. that. Yeah. But I liked it because it, they they nailed that. And the, you know, you got a double impalement, which was the Friday 13th right. too. Uh, you get a head... Uh, 
basically decapitated by um by a hood by a hood, which was a Kermit. madman reference. Yep. Ah, it was just it was great. Yeah, that I was really it. cool. Uh, and the gore looked good for what we saw. Yeah, and, and you know, talking about kind of tying all that together, I liked how self aware this movie was. Yeah, because so this was it was almost like a modern day scream, looking at eighties horror movies. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a double edged sword because it's been done a lot here lately. But when this came out in 2013, it still wasn't really a thing. The whole meta thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was. It wasn't as used. Yes, not as not as now. overused as it right. is now. That was really yeah. nice to see. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Something else that was really nice to see was this week we had some boobs. Yeah, they were on yeah. for a very brief amount of time, <laughs> and they weren't very big. No, but they were boobs. So they're boobs, and I wasn't going to complain. No, and there was a very awkward sex scene with too much man ass. We're going to get to the man ass. Yeah, but um. You know, and speaking of the eighty stuff, there's a lot of eighty shout outs. Yes. You know, with that, which I guess we already kinda of talked about. <coughs> well, no, you can say it again. But you know, we edit. <laughs> right. But yeah, they I mean they shout out all these movies, references, and they talk about it flat out. Especially in the last fifteen minutes. Yeah. Some of the humor was really good. It wasn't overdone yeah. and it wasn't <coughs> silly. I mean it was silly, but it wasn't like stupidly silly. Right. It wasn't like us. Right. So, uh, <laughs> the movie was shot really well. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Technically, the movie was done very well. Like, from a technical point yep. of view, the movie was done really, really yeah. well. Everything. The, the camera work was good. Yep. The sound was good. Yep. The ADR, you actually pointed out, which was really cool that it wasn't me for a change. Right, yeah. Um, but they ADR'd a scene in the beginning where they're walking. From far away, and it's... And it sounded really great. Like, yep, everything was clear. You could hear him. You want that one? You can have that one. We, we talked about that. Oh, we talked Sound? about pacing? Oh, does that says pacing? Yeah. Okay. The pacing was good. <laughs> uh, you know, the for the first act, it was a little <coughs> slow, but it was still... I don't know what it was. Something about it was... It just flowed well. It moved really good. It moved really well. Yeah. And it helps at a short run time. So, pacing is huge. Can ruin or save a movie. This one did fine. Yeah. Um, this one did really well. Yeah. So, there's a twist. A twist. I, I called it, literally, yeah, a quarter you. of the way in. Um... And uh, the ending, you know, I like that, though. Because the twist is cool. A normal, casual viewer probably isn't going to catch on. No. Even though it's kind of right in your face. Uh, but I liked it. The ending, the last 15 minutes or so, was awesome. I liked the conversation mm -hmm. at the end. It, it really felt a lot like Scream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that made me think of Wes Craven. And that always makes me happy. Anytime you can make me think of Wes Craven, I'm in a good mood. In, in fact, one of, the, uh, one of the killers' last name was Craven. And he even said, did you catch that? No, I didn't. Yeah. He, oh, shit. Be beaver boy. Um, <laughs> the guy looked like a beaver. He did Sorry. look like a beaver. Or a sloth. <laughs> <or something. laughs> but yeah, he, he, I believe he said the last name was Craven. He said no relation. I don't know if you caught that. Oh, yep. no. I, I caught the no relation bit, but I didn't pick up that's why. That's cool. Good on you. So, yeah, the, the whole last act, man, it felt kind of like scream a little bit. Yeah. But that's where a lot of the shout outs, the movie reference came. It was just yeah. cool how it all pieced together. And there's a few times we were like hooting and hollering, like, yeah, yeah. high five. And when a movie can make you do that, especially somebody like us who watches all sorts of movies, it's yeah, good to I'm, find these. So, speaking of things we don't like, yeah. <laughs> is there any dislikes? <laughs> Not a lot, to be honest. Okay. Right up front, my biggest dislike. Mine too. There was way too much man butt in this movie. From Mike Goltz, director's brother. The ratio of <laughs> female nudity to male nudity was off. There were like a lot of man butt. There was yeah. a lot of man butt. Yeah. Two different men, a lot of man butt. Because yeah. there was one in the beginning too, remember the going into the shower. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> and it, was, it wasn't just like a quick shot. It was a slow pan down his body, like what you would do with an actress usually right. in a horror movie. Yeah. It was very uncomfortable for that me. That scene was like, whoa, boobs! Whoa, man butt! Yeah. Also, did every man in this movie shave their butt? Like, they had no hair. They were hairless. They were skinless. Uh, no, not skinless. skinless. They had skin. You skinless ass! <laughs> I kind of wish the killers had won. Yeah, I liked them. They were good guys. They were. I mean, they weren't good guys, but they well, were they were good guys. They were us. Yeah, and I was rooting for us. Yeah, if we did a horror movie, well, no, fuck that. If we went on a killing spree, we would win. We would, and no one would ever know it was us. I did like that. Was really cool at the end where she was like, "You'll never get away with this," 
First of all, total Scooby Doo line. No, oh, yeah. The way she said it. But second, they even came back and were like, one of two things is going to happen. We're either going to succeed and kill you, and we win, or we're going to fail and become famous, and we win. Right. And it's like, holy shit, he is absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. And too much man butt. And too much man butt. So, also, <clears throat> dude touched the other dude's penis. Not okay. Yeah. And it wasn't bing, just, bing, bing. yeah, it was, he like fingered it. And it you could like, see oh, it move. Buddy. Yeah, and it was like, bleep, bleep, inside of there. And it's like, that's <laughs> not, no. No. <laughs> Eh. Friends don't touch friends' penises. No. So, you know, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I was surprised. Me too. I, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. No. Yeah. And I didn't know a whole lot going in. I picked it up a while back. I've been meaning to watch it. And <laughs> so, but I, I, I did enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah. It was, uh, it was fun. It was just enjoyable. You picked well. I picked well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I would recommend this flick for sure. Absolutely. You know. So who are we going to shout out this week? We're going to sla- uh, bl- 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 shout out Slasher Studios, the oh. people that brought it. So check them out on Instagram. I believe it's just that. Uh, it's, it's right here. Yeah, we'll put it here. At Slasher Studios, I believe. But just look. Yeah. look. Yeah. So check them out. Check out whatever other movies they have. I know they got a website. We'll put that up. <laughs> so... Final ratings. Final ratings. Yeah. I really enjoyed this movie. I had fun with it. Um, I recommend it. I am going to give it a 7.9 out of 8. And the only reason I didn't give it 8 was because of the man butt. I don't like the man butt. Just just so you know, in the car, he's like, I'm going to give it an 8.1 out of 8 because of the man no. butt. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you are incorrect. <laughs> so, I, I yeah, check it out. Support yeah. any horror You really got to watch this movie. Yeah. Um, I'm a little lower than you. Uh, maybe it's just because I have seen these cliches done so much. You're going to get it hard again like you did in the car. Yeah. Fuck, man. It was a solid 7.5 out of 8 for me. Nice. Yeah, I came up after I was going to yeah. say you went I, up. I went up, 7.5 yeah. seven seven out of 8. Yeah, it, nice. was, it, was, it was a great movie. Yeah, it was. And you, if you are a horror fan, an 80s horror fan especially, you are doing yourself a disservice by not watching this Yeah, movie. check it out for yeah. sure. And you should go buy it from uh, Slasher, 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 Slasher Studios. Studios. Yeah. Buy it, support any horror. Yeah, you know the motto. You yeah. know, you know what it is. Because if you do, maybe they'll make another movie like this, or maybe they'll make something even better next time, yeah. like this, but with no man butt, right? And with more boobs, <laughs> exactly. And and uh, I don't know, a, a gerbil, a gerbil named, named Horace Pinker. <laughs> Horace Pinker. Uh, you can go over to uh, Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Yep. Instagram at Stupid Movies. Yep. At the Horror Punk at Dr. Sketch Turner. Super movies at Outlook.com. Yeah. Like, rate, review, share with your friends. I don't know. Do all that shit. Yeah, go ahead. If yeah. you've ever listened to a podcast or watched a YouTube show, you know all the things they want you to do. Do it for us, too. Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah. Come on, now. We love you, and we, we thank you. We love each and every one of you. We're going to come do inappropriate things to you in your sleep. Mm-hmm. Little buddy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. If there's too much yada yada talky talk backstory, exposition, no, no.